is my cure. I realize that everyone's cause and relief is different, but if you haven't tried it, please do. I can attest it has only been two weeks and I've stopped getting huge cystic acne all over. Even my spots are fading. What's up guys, my name is Brian Turner. If you don't know me, if you don't follow my channel already, I cover all things acne because I used to have extremely severe acne and acne has become a huge passion of mine. I love helping people figure out how to get rid of their acne and this video is no different. This supplement I'm about to tell you guys in this video is a mineral that can be found in food or just taken as a supplement, but dermatologists actually tell their patients to try this before they tell them to go on to further treatments like Accutane, and it's been able to help cure people completely eliminate their acne. Now, I wanna be super clear. This is not just a guess or an opinion. There are actual studies as well as people sharing their experiences. We're gonna dive into all of that, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly how much and how to consume it, and I'll also be covering some things to make sure to avoid when trying this method. All right, now that I've got your attention, that's enough waiting, what is it? Well, it is zinc. You've probably heard of this before, but you haven't heard of how important it is for acne. The results from this are blowing my mind. Listen to what this one person said on Reddit. I was just about to start Accutane, but during the 30 day waiting period, I started taking a zinc supplement and it improved my skin so much that my dermatologist and I decided to postpone the Accutane until we see how the zinc works out. That's a pretty big deal. If you know anything about acne treatment, you know that Accutane is literally the last resort that dermatologists will go to. So the cool thing is, if you go and Google zinc and acne Reddit, you'll see tons of people's success stories that are just like this. I'm serious, like it is a lot of people telling their experiences that go just like this one. I wanted to see if there's scientific proof and I actually found quite a few studies. One of them is called correlation between the severity and type of acne lesions with serum zinc levels in patients with acne vulgaris. It's kind of a mouthful, but basically what happens with zinc and people with acne. So without actually reading all the scientific scientific jargon, let's just see what they concluded at the bottom of the study. The results of our study suggest that lower zinc levels may be related to the severity and type of acne lesions in some patients with acne vulgaris. So I've showed you a few people's actual experiences. I've showed you scientific evidence that show there's a correlation to low zinc levels and people having acne. And when it comes to zinc, you can supplement it with usually like pills, but you can also get it from foods. Here's an infographic I found showing 10 foods that have a lot of it. I personally get a lot of my zinc from pumpkin seeds, tofu, and lentils. These are things that I eat just about every single day. Uh, but also, I do take a multivitamin that has zinc in it. Something else that was really interesting is in that last study, the researchers actually gave caution about a certain food. So listen to what they said here. It is worth noting that milk, while likely worsening acne, tends also to increase zinc levels. Thus, stopping milk might lower zinc levels and at the same time improve acne. This suggests the action of inflammation locally will consume the zinc locally and lower the serum level. All right, if you guys know anything about me, you know I eat this stuff up. I love learning all of the new trends that people are trying. I love learning all the new science. If you've been following the acne world for a couple of years, you've probably heard before that people have used vitamins to be able to reduce oil production and eliminate acne. One of the big trends was vitamin B5 because there was this huge viral video of a mom supplementing her son with B5 and actually completely eliminating his acne. I made a video covering that video and diving deep into the science behind it. I'll make sure I link that in the corner so you can check that video out if you want to. But interestingly, it seems that zinc can help to get rid of acne, but it also seems that when stopping supplementing zinc, it can cause acne to start again. So look what another user on Reddit pointed out. I take 50 milligrams daily to fight cystic acne and clogged pores due to my deficiency. As soon as I stop taking zinc, it all comes back. I've been taking zinc supplements now for three years. We just keep seeing success story after success story. Now that last person said they're taking 50 milligrams. This is actually too much and you do have to be cautious with zinc. So I'll explain a little bit more about that as well as how much to be supplementing with and how you should be taking it because there's a method that will be 
able to keep you from getting sick, basically. Uh, but I do want to mention my acne program. If you don't follow me, you probably haven't heard of it before, but I created a program because, again, I've been through extremely severe acne and I tried so many things and I wish somebody would have just made a program so I could skip all that trial and error. And so I did that exact thing. It's called the AcneMethod.com and basically it's 10 steps, it's 10 bucks. I made it super affordable so anybody can try it out. And this method will get you to the point where you can pinpoint what is the cause of your acne as well as create a plan so you can attack it directly. And this has been able to help literally hundreds of people now. Like look on the website, you'll see testimonials. Before and afters are fantastic. This is like my pride and joy. I'm so excited about people being able to clear their acne just by taking a couple of simple steps that they just don't know about. So check that out. It's the acnemethod.com. Now, Let's get to this next part. All right, so I wanted to know what type of zinc should you take? Because if you look up zinc supplements, you'll see tons of, like literally tons, from zinc chelate to zinc citrate, a ton more, but which is the best one? Which is the right one to take? Well, Healthline, which is a website, breaks down scientific studies and really just gives you the brass tacks best information. They say this. There are several types of zinc supplements. Limited research suggests that some forms, such as zinc picolinate and zinc citrate may be better absorbed than others like zinc oxide. However, more recent studies are needed. So based off of reading that, I'd probably go with zinc picolinate or zinc citrate. Then the next thing I want to know is how much is the right amount? So again, let's see what Healthline has found. Most zinc supplements contain 15 to 30 milligrams of zinc per serving. Keep in mind, the tolerable upper intake level of zinc is 40 milligrams per day for adults, four to seven milligrams for infants, seven to 23 milligrams for kids and 23 to 34 milligrams per day for teens. Due to potential side effects of excess zinc, it's best not to exceed 40 milligrams per day unless under medical supervision. So while I was doing research for this video and I was looking through all these people's experiences on Reddit, basically what I saw again and again is that if people went over 40 milligrams of zinc supplementation a day, basically they would just get stomach issues. Like they would get really nauseous or they'd get kind of bloaty or their stomach would kind of hurt. It didn't seem like people were, you know, going to the hospital, but it did seem like if they weren't eating it with food, so they're going on an empty stomach and they were having too much, it was causing them to be nauseous. Now, a quick side note, I want to say that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I am not a dermatologist. So I am not telling you to do anything. All I'm trying to do is bring you scientific information as well as people's experiences so that you can look further into this and you really should consult with your doctor or dermatologist before starting anything. But again, this is the information that we're seeing on Healthline under 40 milligrams a day and people on Reddit seemed like they were having the best experience when they were splitting it into two half doses, one in the morning, one at night, just to mitigate the stomach issue problem. I don't know if this is as interesting to you guys as it is to me, but this kind of blows my mind that if if you're deficient in zinc, that can be the whole cause of your acne. Like literally people are able to 100% eliminate their cystic acne by addressing this deficiency. Something I think that you should try is go on to chronometer.com and input all of the food you're eating for an entire day and see what your zinc intake level is just from the foods you eat. You can right there see if you usually are deficient in zinc by the foods that you're eating every single day. I always try to bring you guys the most interesting acne information out there and dive into topics that I just really don't see in the skincare world here on YouTube. So I hope that this video was really interesting to you. If you are looking for my favorite skincare brand of all time, been using them for a little over two years now, it's called Banish. It's all cruelty free. It's all natural ingredients with no fragrances and it covers the whole gamut from acne scarring to mild to moderate acne to anti-aging and skin texture. Definitely suggest checking them out. Get the starters kit, go from there. Look at the reviews on the website. The link is in the description below banishbrian.com and my discount code is brian5 to get you five dollars off your order if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already remember you're not alone you're beautiful you're part of team acne see you guys in the next video